A breakaway switch is a, a device that when hooked up to your uh, towed vehicle's brake system that if the vehicle separates from the motorhome, the breakaway switch will ensure that the brakes are applied on the towed vehicle. So that probably uh, alleviates the thing from flipping over a few times and just lets it crash easier. In this video, I'm going to be installing a breakaway system that I got with my RVI brake system. And it comes with basically a switch, some wire, a lanyard, and some uh, cable ties, a few accessories. Now if you saw my video on installing my light kit for the taillights, uh, I've already drilled a hole through the firewall and left a space open for this cable. Now when I open this up and get the uh, switch itself out, I can clearly see where they put a splice in here and use some heat shrink. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. And after cutting it, then I'll have a smaller wire that I think I can run through the existing wiring. Now, I'm familiar enough uh, with electronics. I mean, I've dealt with electronics professionally for 35 years, so um, I have no problem in splicing and uh, reconnecting. So that's what I think I'll do, which will make it a little easier to run the cable. So I just peeled back the uh, heat shrink that was on here. And now here's just a couple more pieces of heat shrink that uh, are for each of the connections. And since these are all black wires, um, you know, this is just not going to be a problem at all. This is just a set of dry contacts, basically. And um, they're actually both insulated from the... Uh, chassis here so there's no issues at all with polarity even. If I can do this with one hand I'm simply going to take my wire cutters snip snip there we go and I can run this uh, through the car without having anything in the way of the wire and then I'll just reconnect this uh, with heat shrink and everything when I'm done. Not a big deal. So using the paracord that I had strung originally in there, I spliced uh, the cable to the end of the paracord, and then I was able to pull the cable through, and here I've got it through the wire, lo wire loom, and then um, I'm going to run it through the rest of it and then tape it off as I go. And then in the car, here's the other end, and uh, this end can just hang loose here. I'll probably call it up or something. And then this cable goes up through the fire, the grommet I put in the firewall. If you remember that grommet right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put some silicone around there and uh, waterproof it. So then uh, it'll be semi-permanent. We're now done here with the uh, gooping. So I just gooped the... Uh, where all the uh, cables go through the firewall. Well, now we've dressed off the uh, all the cabling. Here's here's the uh, wire loom that we have it's going through here, and it snakes under here, comes out here. And again, I've got the uh, the end of the wires exposed still because the next step is I have to put this thing up on a ramp and get under the front of the car and run these cables. Uh, install the uh, breakaway. I fed the brake wire wire through to the bottom of the car and I put a piece of heat shrink here and I have uh, stripped the two wires here and likewise on the breakaway switch um, I've stripped the two wires and I have heat shrink here. Now unfortunately it's going to be hard to make good mechanical contact so basically what I'm going to do is put some solder on here and then heat this up and then just Put that next to it until it cools off. Now that should be good enough. And there we go. We got pretty good contact, and it's and it's fairly bright. You know, it's not dull. If it, if you get these things where they're dull, then that's what usually is typically referred to as a cold solder joint. And you want them bright. You know, after this is cooled down enough, I'm going to put the two pieces of heat shrink over it and then we'll heat shrink this and then we'll put the other sleeve over it. 
There we go. We've uh, got the breakaway switch uh, back connected on and heat shrinked up real nice and looks just like the when it came out of the box. So now we just got to find a place to mount it. When you uh, install this, there's a piece of Velcro on the bottom of it. And that Velcro is just used to attach it in place temporarily. And then you have a little bracket here that you screw in over it to keep it in place. So first thing you do is you Velcro it and then you screw the bracket down. And now we got the switch in place. I was also able to put a screw here so I got in three places so it's in pretty solidly. I don't think it'll go anywhere. And that completes the breakaway. It's got the cable on it.